Hey guys, it's Fusion Timmy here, and today we'll be surviving 100 days as Bardock. As you may know, Bardock is actually the father of Goku. And while he hasn't been in the series very much, he's still a fan favorite. Despite being far weaker than Frieza, he still was brave enough to try and stand up against Frieza to try and save the Saiyan race. Even if that may have failed, Goku eventually did bring it home and took down Frieza for good. Kinda. Sorta. So maybe, uh, you know, maybe Frieza came back like twice, but we don't talk about that. However, as you may notice, we are not on Earth right now. We are on planet Vegeta. And as you can see, there's Saiyans everywhere. Unlike most of my playthroughs, we're going to be stranded on planet Vegeta. Until we reach Earth, we're going to be stranded here, trying to escape, trying to survive. With so many Saiyans being on this planet, it'll be near impossible for me to actually be able to survive. However, I think this is a challenge that we are more than capable of handling. Definitely not gonna die a bunch. However, if you guys enjoy watching this video and you enjoy watching my other 100 day Minecraft videos Make sure to like, comment, subscribe and hit that notification bell because it actually does help me out a ton And it alerts you when new videos come out. Finally, if you haven't already you should go join the discord server in the description below It's actually a really good place to make new friends that are from the future community And who knows you might even be able to have a conversation with me from time to time However, I think it's time for us to spend a hundred days as Bardock the bravest of all saints. Listen guys, I know I was acting real tough for the intro, but I'm kinda scared. I mean, we got tons of Saiyans literally everywhere and I'm stranded. Now, for this challenge, I did give myself some food because I don't know if you guys see any dinosaurs, but I don't see any dinosaurs anywhere. On top of that, I give myself some sensu beans just in case. However, with the amount of Saiyans there is and with how my power level is, uh, I think it's best we try and avoid them. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna go this way right now. I think I'm good. We don't even have a Nimbus right now, and we don't even have the skill fly. So we can't fly anywhere. We can't do anything extreme. Now, we do have a space pod, but the problem with the space pod is we're not gonna use it until we've at least gotten up to Super Saiyan. That is going to be the challenge. The Saiyans don't seem to be minding me too much yet, but that's probably because I haven't actually gotten any sort of strength i'm way too weak and on top of that i am a neutral person if i was good or evil they would probably have a problem with me also if i accidentally punch one of them they are definitely going to kill me but while it is peaceful this will give us a bit of a chance to get stronger how about we start off with some just simple shadow dummy training i don't have a weight or anything right now but that's okay oh no we don't have any tp guys and the only way to get tp is by fighting stuff and I'm sorry, the only thing around here to fight, you guessed it, Saiyans. They have 500 health. It's about like a dinosaur, but I bet they hit a lot harder. Oh boy. This one has 600. Okay. The problem is, I feel like if I attack one, they're all going to start attacking me. So I need to plan this very carefully. Because if not, I'm going to get swarmed from all sides. Unfortunately, I don't think there is a safe place to go. So, how about we just... Guys, please don't swarm me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Sensu bean! Oh, my... Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, God. Okay. We have no choice. Let's just fight. Let's get our TP up while we can. If we die, we die. We will become stronger. We may die a few times, but we will become stronger. Okay, we might die a lot of times. And we're in the afterlife. This is going to be a long journey, isn't it? King Yama. It's kind of early for me to be seeing you, isn't it? I'm only a few minutes into the video and I've already died. I could go to Snake Way, but I don't have enough... Ladies and gentlemen, I have an idea. This idea is probably way more dangerous. Well, I like I could go down there, but I'll probably die from fall damage, will not? Let's give it a shot. Okay, we didn't take any damage. These things are strong. Oh god, okay. See, they're not attacking us right now. So we're good. But I feel like if we die, which now we have to. When we try and go across Snake Way, they'll kill us anyway. Oh, whatever. We're gonna die a lot, but. The good news is, is every time I hit them, I'm just coming right back here. I I can just keep doing this over and over and over until I have enough to shadow dummy train. And then I can shadow dummy train on planet Vegeta. 
problem is, is there still will be a lot of Saiyans, like, everywhere. And I am currently not nearly strong enough to fight them. I need to get stronger, which means I need to be able to do Shadow Dummies to train. Oh, God. Okay, they're, they're fading away currently just because it's so close to spawn. But that's not going to happen for long. Man, they one-shot me. I only got one TP from that. Ah, oh, this is a tough challenge. You know what? I guess I should go back to Planet Vegeta. Do I have enough to Shadow Dummy train now? Let me try. I do. Okay, so now all we have to do is just go back to Planet Vegeta. King Gamma, revive me! Okay, so I'm back and I got all my stuff. You'll see that there's a ton of Saiyans all around me. Why am I in the water? I figure... I know they can fly, but maybe eventually, if I'm lucky, they might just swim instead of flying. I know it's very unlikely, but if they swim, it makes them slow, which means I can get away. But if they're not going to attack me for now, that means I should be able to Shadow Dummy train in peace, which is something I very much need. So we're just training here to see if we can get some TP so we can finally get strong enough to do something. If we can unlock Super Saiyan, none of these Saiyans will be a problem for us anymore. Now, as you can see, I did so much damage to that guy, I barely got any TP, but it's still something. Matter of fact, since they're not attacking us, I'm just going to get out of the water now. What's the point? I'll go ahead and lower my power level. That way I don't kill these things as easy and I get more hits in. And I'm going to try and spawn him in in the water. That did not work out how I wanted, but now we'll get extra hits in. I'm only using 25% instead of 50%. Ooh, I'm seeing the gains. I'm seeing the gains for sure. Okay, he got me low enough to where it stopped, but I got 14 now. It's almost enough to upgrade my TP. It's very slow right now. But the good news is because I have messed with the configs, which I've always had it like this, the rate actually gets exponentially higher the more I put into my mind. So every time I put more into my mind, I grow faster and faster. But... The cost of the moves is still quite high. Super form is going to cost me 100 mine. I got to level up this mine stat 100 times. And without weights, without a time chamber, uh, I'm going to be stuck here forever. I used a sensu bean. That probably wasn't the smartest idea, but whatever. At this point, I'm going to die a lot anyway. Next time, I'll use food. I got to let this guy not get too many hits in, because every time he gets a hit, it makes me lower. And if he gets me low enough, he despawns. So I uh, need him to stop hitting me. Ladies and gentlemen, we can upgrade our mind for the first time. Allowing us to start working towards our super form. Also allowing us to gain more TP per person we kill. Now one mind isn't going to change a whole lot. I'm going to have to do this several days. So, for days and days and days, I'm going to sit here and I am going to try and Shadow Dummy train until I can't anymore. I'm probably going to use all of my resource. Ooh, it only took one big dinosaur for me to actually get me up to full. I guess it's because I'm so weak right now. I'm going to train for days and days and days with the Shadow Dummies to see if I can become stronger. Wait, there's something I can use to make this easier for me. The moon. That's not the moon, that's the sun. But you get the point. When the moon comes out, I can become a great ape. It's a natural ability of us Saiyans. If I actually use that, it might allow me to have an easier time. The problem is that these Shadow Dummies, they are quite small. Their hitboxes are really small. And I'm going to be quite big, so it might be hard for me to hit them, but it's worth a shot. How about we wait till nighttime, and we'll see if the Great Ape can actually make it easier for us. <sighs> I've been here for a while. Nothing's really happening, which means it may not turn nighttime. I mean, the sun seems to be getting higher, but at the same time, it doesn't seem to be getting much darker at all. I'm starting to think that there is no moon for Planet Vegeta. Is it just staying in the same spot? I just realized it's not even moving. Like, it looks like it may be vaguely moving. Nah, dude, it's not moving. I, I left my crosshair there for minutes. So there is no nighttime. I can't become a great ape on this planet. Ah, whatever. Well, the more you know, I guess. Now you know if you try and become a great ape here, you can't. Not unless you have the skill that allows you to do it, and I don't have that skill. Alright, lads, I got good news and I got bad news. Well, for good news, we can become a Super Saiyan now. The reason I say that is because I put most of it in the mine. I did put a little bit into my strength. 
uh, you know, just a little bit. It doesn't really help me a whole lot. And honestly, I had to keep my strength low enough just so I could get more points from hitting things. But at the same time, my mine is went over 100. It's actually went a bit higher than 100. And now you'll see that I can do a super form. It needs 100 TP and 100 mine. I have exactly that much. So let's go ahead and unlock our super form. We can now go super sand. Now, the only problem here is that our stats are so lie. Uh, the only problem here is that our stats are so low. We can't really become a proper super sand because what is my super sand state going to be multiplying it's like trying to give a uh, well i mean to be quite frank we're a weak sand you're trying to give a weak sand super sand it's not multiplying anything but here we go we're officially a super sand but you'll see that my energy is going down incredibly fast especially when i hit the turbo button because we haven't mastered super sand and our stats are so low. Look, my spirit's at five. My key is the lowest it could possibly be. It's the lowest the mod lets you because I haven't upgraded it a single time. Now, you will see that it does multiply our stats by a good bit. So, we are officially a Super Saiyan. Grinding here kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie to you. But before we leave, how about we see if we can just take down a bunch of Saiyans. Before we have to try and leave with our, our crazy space pod. We definitely tank a lot more damage. They're not doing as much, and we're doing more. Look, Super Saiyan just makes us him on this planet. Or even though our stats are super low, we're actually able to do so much more because of it. We will return to planet Vegeta, but for now, we are simply going to try and escape to Earth. But first, I need to kill this Saiyan. Okay, before any other sand show up, I think it's time we dip. Okay, now that we're on Earth, you'll see that it is... Whoa, pitch black darkness. The moon is in the air. We could find Master Roshi's house at any time. We don't know where Kami's lookout is. We have to begin searching. Actually, I see it on my mini-map. We've officially found Kami's lookout. It is usually near spawn. So, yeah, we're actually already here at Kami's lookout. How about we take a quick little stop to Korin's and get us a Sensu Bean? Because we could definitely- No, 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 no! Oh, boy. That was not part of the plan. Where'd my space pod go, man? I don't see it anymore. <laughs> I guess we can't travel to other planets anymore. That was not to- That was not intentional. <laughs> Dropping my space pod there was not intentional at all, but- I guess it works out. It just means we... Let me go and get on my super form. I guess it just means we can't traverse to any other planets until we get to the Frieza saga. Which isn't that kind of fitting. To be able to have our freedom, we have to kill Frieza. Which is something we can't do right now. Not until we've gotten a lot stronger. We will go ahead and get a flying Nimbus though. So we can go ahead and just go up to Kame's lookout very quickly. And get ourselves set up. Because we're going to be using that hyperbolic time chamber to get much stronger. We're going to need it to be able to take out Frieza. And to take out the many more enemies that are along the way. Man, I just lost my Nimbus somehow. What the? You know what? Yeah, it's fine. We're going to get the move fly. And I'll never have to worry about these flying things ever again. We'll not have to worry about Nimbuses or space pods or anything else. And it is ugly in here. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life in here. I don't have a weight, but it's okay because we're being weighed down naturally by the time chamber more than enough. So trying to train in here is actually going to give us a lot more TP. I need to go ahead and lower my power level. Maybe do 25%. It'll make more sense here because I didn't say 35. I said 25. It just kept going and going. It literally does not want to go to 25%. Okay. Okay, we're at 25%. We're well, ready to go. We can begin our Shadow Dummy training. With the weight, with this low power level, the amount of hits we're going to get on this Shadow Dummy, it's going to be perfect. We have to get stronger, and the only way is going to be through a lot of training. A lot of training that I'm going to cut out because it's extremely boring, and I'd like to listen to music while I do it, and he's already got me low HP. And he's already got me a low HP, so I might as well go ahead and just heal up and keep it going. I'm probably going to die a lot doing this. Are you ready to rumble? I said that because we have a lot more stats now. You'll see our mind has went up by hundreds. 
We've put a little bit more to our strength, constitution, dexterity, spirit, all that stuff. I want to make sure my stats were somewhat growing. It also helps me when I'm training, so I'm not doing like just true damage. It does help. And I still have a lot of TP left over. Now you'll see that my mind is just enough to go and upgrade our super form once. Now what's this do? It allows us to go to the next stage of Super Saiyan. We can now go to Ascended Super Saiyan. But before we do that, I think we should go ahead and put on our stats. Or better yet, let me put... Ooh, that's a lot. How about we don't do that and we just... Yeah, I think that's a good spot. How about we leave it there? And Kami, can you teach us how to fly? Thank you. This is honestly the nicest thing you've ever done for me. Potential unlock. Thank you, man. I really want to be able to push my limits more. Um... Meditation, endurance. Ah, oh, no mind left. Well, not for long, because I'm putting more into it. Haha. Uh -huh. What do we want to put some endurance in there? Never mind. Endurance, boom. So now we have a lot more skills. Even though they're not very leveled up, we can eventually level them up. And how about we go ahead and raise our constitution to 100. Dexterity to... Ah, oh, we can't do to 100. But it's fine. We, we got pretty good stats, I'd say. Not to mention, we can now go to Ascended Super Saiyan. So, let's go and give it a shot. We'll go Super Saiyan 1. Oh, it actually charges up faster now. So, Super Saiyan 1. And then we go to the grade above that. Ascended Super Saiyan 1. And you can see our power level is quite big. I mean, it's gotten a lot bigger than what it was, to say the least. We're not nearly enough to take out Frieza, but... I could probably go ahead and start doing the normal story, which will help me get some TP and to try and get a little bit of like extra items like the Dragon Balls, for example. Look how high our stats have gotten. They've doubled. I mean, like that is actually really good, especially for willpower. We are going to be using key attacks in this. I just need to get more TP so we can start making some key attacks because Broly, he actually does have some special key moves. Specifically one that he tried to kill Frieza with that didn't really work because Frieza's supernova wiped it out. It basically just absorbed the attack. But we'll get to that later. For now, <laughs> uh, since I can fly, how about I go get another Nimbus that I can use for now. And after that, I am going to go try and find Kame's house so I can begin the normal Dragon Block C story. And I got Sensubi now. Awesome. It's going to actually help me. We'll go ahead and use that here. And yeah, I'm going to go out of my Super Saiyan state so I'm not draining my energy constantly. Get out of Turbo. Use this Nimbus so it doesn't drain my energy. And it's time to go find Kami. After that, I can start doing some of the normal Dragon Ball story. But I'm going to cut out the original Dragon Ball story because I always say it's just a little too long. And I think you guys would enjoy it if I just did the Dragon Ball Z side of things. Because the normal Dragon Ball Z story, well, it's fun to play. It's not that fun to watch because it is so long. And it's all just usually a bunch of fodder. Like, they're just so easy to beat. Especially when you get Super Saiyan. So yeah, I'll be back soon. Okay, guys. So, quick update. I've done the entire original Dragon Ball story. I'm up to the Saiyan Saga. I've put in some more stats. And you'll see that I've even got my TP to 156,000. I did do a little bit of training off camera because I wanted to make progress. Every time you guys see me, I would like to make progress. So, I not only did the story, I also trained. And you'll see... That I have just enough to be able to get our super form to the next level, which is grade 3. It's not Super Saiyan 2 by any means, but we're getting there, bit by bit. The next is going to be perfected, then we get Super Saiyan 2. And our strength is only going to come faster the way my TP gain works. So, right now, since we have 154,000, how about we upgrade some of our stuff, like, notably, Potential Unlock. I want to go ahead and max that out because I am definitely going to need it for my future battles. <sighs> it's not fully maxed out, though. Dang. I don't think I can, can I? Wait. Wait, no, 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 no. That's not what I meant to do. Ah, uh, I'm too broke. I see. Okay, dang. Oh, well. All right. Well, we got another form of Super Saiyan and our potential unlock is to the point of where I think we can use like 80% to 85 probably. Actually, it might be 90% now that I think about it. Which is friggin' huge. Yeah, we can go up to 90% of our power and we can go to grade 3. However, for us to become stronger, we're not only gonna have to train more, we're gonna have to fight the Cybermen. Now, we have to go to the Rocky Biome. No, we don't. No, we not. No, we're not. <laughs> I said, no, we not, bro. I panicked so much. I didn't think it was gonna work. Super Saiyan 1. Grade 2. Bring on grade three. I don't have any sensu beans. Come on. Grade three. 
Let's go! Bring it on, nerds. Get body. I feel like I'm bullying a bunch of kids right now. I just don't feel right. Hey, I won though. I won though. Look how much it increases my stats. Huge. For myself and Raditz. Oh, of course. Oh, he's going to kill me if I'm not careful. There we go. You know what? This scouter could be put to use. Let's go ahead and just put that right there. Oh, yeah. I'm liking that. I'm liking the scouter we got here. It's our scouter now, son. Rats is technically one of my sons. So now I have to find the dirty stony biome, which is where the dinosaurs are. Get a bunch of dinosaur meat and then kill some sidemen. So I got to go find that. That's going to take a while. But at least I can get some food in the meantime. And I'll get back to you after that. I shouldn't be a little bit stronger because of killing all the dinosaurs. You know, like basically I'm the event that wiped out all the dinosaurs. I guess. Oh, am I too evil now? No, I'm too neutral. Fine. I don't need your Nimbus anyway. Screw it. I'm just going to go find a dinosaur biome on my own. Okay, guys, so here we are. We're in the Rocky Mountain biome, and now we're ready to continue the story. So, as you can see, I'm already in my Super Saiyan form. I've already got the meat that we need. I've got a million TP, and I guess, I think I could put some into my stats, but I think I'm going to save it for now. We're, we're, we'll see what we'll do after we move on the story, because I'm, I'm really excited to see what happens next. Ooh. Now we have to take on all these Cybermen. It would be really nice if I had a key move about now. I'm not going to lie to you. It'd be really nice if I had some kind of key move. Dude, there's so many. We have to take out Nappa and Vegeta. Finally, we're getting to the actual good stuff. I've had to do the entire original Dragon Ball saga by now, so this is pretty refreshing. Wait, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I have really got to get the health bar. Oh. <laughs> I've got to get the waypoint off of my uh, health bar. Like, this is crazy. Look at this. It's like every time I'm about to die, I can't even see my HP because whenever I look at them, it's it's just going over my health. It's so annoying. I can't believe I haven't fixed that yet. I really need to I really need to fix it, dude. Alright, when we get back, we're gonna get our stuff, we'll kill Vegeta, and then we can move forward. I can't believe I actually died to that. That was just me being stupid. That, there was no excuse for that. Ahem. Let's try that again. Please let me kill Vegeta. Why is it always dude? It's like glitch where it takes a minute. It's like, come on, dude. Just 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 let me continue. Oh, maybe I'm not technically in the mime I'm supposed to be in. That would make a lot more sense. But now there's no excuse. Please work. And it works. Oh, I didn't go into Super Saiyan. I didn't go into Super Saiyan. I'm not about to die again. I forgot to go into Super Saiyan. I'm an idiot. Alright, we're in Super Saiyan now. Grade 2. And then now, Grade 3. Man, we have really got to get Super Saiyan too. Or just overall, let's put in some more stats, man. Why am I struggling so much? I can't believe I'm this weak. I was over here, like, talking all that smack. I think I see why I'm so weak now. I forget. My stats are only in the hundreds. Uh, when you guys first saw, like, the first half of this video, it was recorded, like, a week ago. I just take, like, a week-long break, so I'm coming back, and I'm like, huh. So do you, for you guys, that's going to be a little bit weird, because I'm going to probably forget some of the things that I said in the first part of the video. I rewatched some of it to try and refresh myself, but... It's still hard. Um, so we got the super form, which is... I'm going to need 500 mind. Okay, yeah, it's going to take a bit, isn't it? Yikes. I'll make our constitution a lot higher. There we go. Now we have a lot more HP. So what's next? Now we have to go to Namek. Oh, that's right. It's about time to fight Frieza. I'm definitely going to need to train a bit more before I fight Frieza. I can tell you that now. Because... I don't know my exact power level in the terms, because I usually use false battle power. I'm using real battle power right now. Uh, in false battle power, I think you need to be like at least 2 million battle power or something like that. I can't exactly remember. All I know is we should not be at the part where we can kill Frieza yet, especially as Bardock. If we want our revenge on Frieza, we're going to have to train. So I guess since it's training night anyways, I might as well head to the time chamber, get a Sensu Bean. Oh wait, I have Shinron. That's right, I got all the Dragon Balls. I totally forgot, dude. Speaking of Sensu Beans, how about we just get ourselves some Sensu Beans? Through Shenron. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, come again. Three Sensu Beans, not too bad, not too shabby. So, all we have to do now is begin our training. 
All right, we're good. We're ready. I don't know why these guys are red. That's a little weird. I don't know if there's like a glitch going on or what, but they appear to be glowing red. I'm not going to question it. We have 3 million TP to spare. Some of it's already been put into our stats, and we have over 500 mine. It's not a whole lot to do anything else, but it is enough to get the super form, so I think we're going to go ahead and do it. Now, potential unlock doesn't cost much mine, so how about I go ahead and do that? I do feel like that would be probably nice. Maybe we'll go ahead and max out our potential, like so. And now, I don't know if we have Mastered Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan 2, so... Yeah, why am I red? It's so weird, why am I red? Let me see if like, I go in and out of the time chamber if it'll fix. Dog, I'm just red now, apparently. I'm in Kaioken forever. I I guess we're just in a red world. <laughs> I'm sure it'll change once we go to Namek. If not, I'll have to fix the settings. Either way, we now have our potential fully unlocked. And I think we have Super Saiyan 2, but I can't say for certain. So let's go ahead and just test it out and see. I'm pretty sure if it is Super Saiyan 2, we should be able to go right up into it. Ah, uh, I think it's Mastered Super Saiyan. Dang. Master Super Saiyan is good, but the way my configs are, it's worse than a, like Super Saiyan Grade 3. So currently my best form would still be Grade 3. Such a disappointment. Such a disappointment indeed. But we still have 3 million TP to spare. A thousand mine, I'm definitely not getting that right now. To get, let's just see. Oh yeah, no, I would not be able to get that thousand mine at all. But I can go ahead and start putting some stuff into my stats. So let's get out of this form. And then let's input our stats here, like so. Go ahead and do some strength, constitution, dexterity, spirit. Uh, normally in the normal Dragon Block C, the highest you can go to is like 500 stats, and that barely can even get you to the Boo Saga. So, actually, this should be more than enough to take out Frieza. Not to mention I have a form, which allows me to go above this. So, I mean, not, not bad. Not bad at all. Now, my willpower is really low, but we'll get around to that. I do think... Using key abilities would be really fun. I do think we need to do that. So maybe once we get done with killing Frieza and we do another training session, I can actually go ahead and start making some key techniques or learn some key techniques and use those because I do think that'd be a bit more fun. Even though I feel like I feel like Bardock's mostly a physical warrior, but I know he does have a move or two. I'm going to use the Sensu Bean here just to heal up. I'm not going to ask why everybody's red, but we're going to Namek. Dude, we just spawned in on the Frieza ship? What? Where's the Frieza ship? No, that's crazy. I've only had that happen like once in my entire time playing. And I'm pretty sure it was like when I was uh, filming a skit for the video. It was never in my actual video. Like basically, I, I used it in like a creative world, but not my actual like, like YouTube worlds. None of my YouTube worlds have ever had this. So basically in survival mode, I've never found the Frieza ship. I wonder, can I learn moves from Frieza here? Not that I think that's a Bardock thing to do, but... I can, I think. Okay, never mind. Get lost or die. No, no, I don't think I will. Ooh, healing liquid. Let me just hop in here. Yep, let me open up the door. Ah, yep, that's, that, that hits the spot. If I had a bucket, I could just take that, but it's pretty easy to just make killing liquid, so I usually do that. I actually have some in the time chamber. That's what I've been using off camera, just so you guys know. If you're like playing Dragon Black Sea, the moment you can get a space pod, just get some of the green grass on Namek and go make yourself some healing liquid. It's pretty easy. Freeze the soldiers! Oh wait, I'm not in my form. I'm not in my form. They're not attacking me through some miracle, and I'm not going to complain. Alright, we're in grade 3 right now. Ooh, we're one-shotting. We're one-shotting. Oh my goodness. That's what I thought. We're way too OP now. That training session put us far above the limits of all of these Frieza soldiers. Okay, I will say I did not one-shot Sui. So, that's that's a little... Suit! I had to do it. I had to do it. I do it every video. I had to do it in this one. The door... Ooh. Oh my god. That's a that's a big dragon block, bro. That's that's a huge dragon block. Zarbon, you look hyper-realistic right now, which is pretty terrifying. <laughs> I'm not gonna ask too much. We got our dragon radar now. This is actually be pretty useful if we can find all the Namekian Dragon Balls. Because then we can make three wishes instead of just one. That's like infinite Sensu Beans right there. I would be set. Maybe I should do that. I don't think I usually do that. So maybe this video, since I'm already gonna have like, I think four or five Namekian Dragon Blocks, I should go for all seven. I'll be able to get tons of Sensu Beans and breeze through the story. I got Healing Liquid to get me 
to be able to train faster, so I mean, why not? It just seems like the easy thing to do. I... I just one shot. I, I I literally just one shot Frieza. I I just one shot Frieza. I was so busy talking about what I was saying that I literally just spawned in Frieza and killed him in an instant. I didn't even give him a chance to transform. He just died instantly. I pulled a Trunks. Uh, I'm sorry to everybody that was wanting a climatic like climatic battle of like Bardock versus Frieza because uh he he's one shot now. Apparently. <laughs> oh, that's so funny, dude. I won't even lie. I can't believe I just did that. Just shows how strong we've gotten, man. We could probably go all the way to the Android Saga with no sweat. It's okay, guys. It's okay. Because Frieza comes back and he's mecha and stuff, so... Uh... He's, su he's supposed to come back. Also, we're not gonna talk about how the Rocky biome is quite literally 10,000 blocks away from everything else. It totally didn't take me like three hours to find this at all. Just flying in a straight direction. It definitely did not take me that long. Why would it take me that long? I, I'm, I'm smarter than that. Now I have to find the planes biome and just hope that that works because apparently my sunflower planes doesn't count. Which is weird because I thought it counted earlier in the video. But oh well. Found a swamp, a forest. I just need to find the planes biome. And preferably before it gets dark, because it is getting dark very quickly. Hey, I'm not red anymore, I just noticed. My red disease is gone. Okay, let's continue. I finally found the planes. Awesome. you're not going to believe it, but it was quite literally like right by Kami's lookout. Where is Kami? There it is. Literally, it's right by Kami's lookout. <laughs> like, we're, we're literally right next to it. I just went the wrong direction. If I'd went this direction from the beginning, I would have saw a planes bomb immediately. I'm just stupid. Uh, yeah, it just happened, you know? Uh, but at least we can one-shot all these guys. So Frieza is about to get folded. Just like his soldiers. They're all gone. <laughs> all of them are gone. And now to kill Mecha Frieza and King Cold. It's just like the Vegeta and Nappa situation. I just have to fight Mecha Frieza. And, uh, just as easy as he was on Namek, except for he got one shot on Namek. <laughs> to be fair, this is like his final form. Where I didn't even let him form up last time. I, I kind of hate that it does that. I shouldn't be allowed to do that, but I can. It's so sad. I just instantly one-shot him. All right. Well, technically, I'm Super Saiyan, right? No? Does that not count? Do I need to go down a grade? Fine. Fine, game. Also, I just realized I'm not even going 100%. I was at 95. Now I'm at 100%. So. Now we have to talk to Kami. Looks like he knows something important. V Vegeta, your hairline... <clears throat> I wanted to say. The trunks, I mean, he, he's, he's got kind of a nice cut. I ain't gonna lie to you. Okay, Kami, Kami, Kami. Thank you. Goodbye. Bad omen. Go to... Okay, now we gotta go to the Rocky Bime. If I'm not mistaken, we're about to begin the uh, Android Saga. I think by the time we get to sell, we're gonna need Super Saiyan 2 for the story. So I am gonna have to train again soon, but might as well do what we can while we can. Uh, yep, I'm grade 3. I think... Yeah, no, I'm grade 3. I just wanted to make sure, because I don't want to end up dying. I'm going to go and eat some dinosaur meat. I really should go back to Namek and get some more Sensu Beans by getting two more Dragon Blocks. If I get two more Dragon Blocks, I can summon Peruga. I wonder, can I summon Peruga on Earth? I've never tried that before. Imagine if I tried to summon Peruga on Earth instead of Namek, even though it's the Namekian Dragon Balls. I wonder if it would work. I feel like it would, but it's an interesting thought, you know what I mean? Maybe after I go training, I'll also go search for those Dragon Balls, and then I can literally just... <laughs> I can summon Purunga, hopefully on Earth. It'd be really cool. Whoa, the world just loaded in. I like that mod because it just makes the stuff pop in so much cleaner. If you're wondering what it is, I'm pretty sure it's called the, like, Chunk Pop-Up or Chunk Load-In mod, something like that. Oh, no, it's Chunk Animator. Chunk Animator. So if you ever want to have your world popping up like mine, a lot of people ask what mods I use. It's Chunk Animator. I highly recommend because it's actually really good. We're gonna go ahead and just put teleport here. As for my waypoint mod, it's zero mini maps. Zero. It's it's kind of hard to spell, but if you look up mini maps or waypoints, you'll probably see it's one of the first ones. Okay, now we have to kill Cell, which ooh, he actually is doing a lot of damage, but not enough, not enough to scare me. But if it makes me go to Super Saiyan 2. That's when I'm gonna have to go training regardless. And I think I'm gonna need like a thousand mine. By the time I get to 2,400 mine, which is what I'll be at, I'm literally gonna be growing so fast that we're gonna breeze through the rest of the story. It requires so much mind 
that it makes me gain so much more. Because the higher your mind stat, the more TP you gain. So before long, I'm literally going to just be breezing through this. Okay, they are actually doing quite a bit of damage. Sensubin. I probably should go train. I'm making it easier or harder on myself, really. Uh, but I want to fight Cell. I do. I want to fight, fight Cell. Let's give it a shot. Okay, he took away a quarter of my health bar and untacked. That's not even perfect cell either. Yeah, now I need Super Saiyan 2. Okay, so guys, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go train, and I'm also going to get the last two remaining Namekian Dragon Blocks. And then we'll try summoning Purunga on Earth and just see how that goes. I might even try and get us up to Super Saiyan 3 at this point because it's going to take me so long training. And by, like I said, once I get like so much mine, like 2,000 mine, it just becomes so easy to get TP. I might get all the way up to like 3,000, 4,000 mine. By that point, I'll be able to go all the way to the God Saga, no problem. Maybe even Tournament of Power. That's how easy this mod gets if you just invest in a mine. And like some slight Kung Fig changes. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so now I've unlocked Super Saiyan 2 and Super Saiyan 3. Now I didn't get Super Saiyan 4, but it's okay. The main thing I want to know now is... Since we've unlocked this, I think... Uh, I don't know where this is going to be taking place at. We're going to go ahead and go to the planes, and we're going to try summoning Purunga. Because like I said, I want to see if this actually works. Because it'd be super cool if this can actually work. I'm just saying. It's worth a shot. You oh, it works. Purunga! Hey, come here. Um, we're going to make three wishes, and they're all going to be you super Yeah! We have food, but we also have enough sensu beans to probably get us all the way through the story. That's that's how much we got. We won't be needing this anymore. So, yeah, we're good now. I guess now let's go ahead and just try and continue the story. Let's go ahead and go to Super Saiyan 2. Now, we can go up to Super Saiyan 3, but we're going to save that for the Boo Saga, hopefully, unless they push me to my limits. I did also invest a little bit into the stats. You can see right now what it's giving me. Should be more than enough to take it. Oh, wait. I'm not even Super Saiyan 2 yet. I'm in Super Saiyan 1. I'm stupid. There we go. Now I'm in Super Saiyan 2 because I can hear the lightning. So, yep, we're in the planes. That's what I thought. I actually guessed perfectly right. Whoa, 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 whoa. That, that went quick. That's not normally how it goes. Okay, well, it's fine. Our action time could be better, but it's good enough. It's good enough for myself. And now we got to kill Cell. Cell! Bonk, 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 bonk. I really should get a key move soon. I think in my final training session, I'm going to make sure I do that. Oh, I have to find Bobbity. Okay, guys, I have not seen Bobbity this entire Let's Play. So, but he does spawn on the plane. So if I fly around long enough, I should manage to find Bobbity's house. Bobbity's house always spawns in the planes. So it could happen at any moment. And this is a pretty big planes area. So I just got to get to looking. Okay, guys, we're at Bobbity's ship, and all we have to do is go talk to Bobbity. So we're going to go ahead and mark this as Bobbity's ship. I don't think we're going to get the Majin symbol this time around, because I don't feel like Bardock is inherently evil, especially when his wife is kind of there to soften him up, you know what I mean? He he ends up being one of the better Saiyans of the bunch. So I don't think he'd be dumb enough. Okay, maybe he would be dumb enough. I don't know. I don't think he's as dumb as, like, Vegeta when it's like, oh, I need power. Let me go get the Majin symbol. Now, if it was, like, in an effort to, like, kill Frieza or something, yeah, probably. Other than that, I don't think so. All right. If you really... He's dead. Ha, ha. Gone. I'm waiting until we can go Super Saiyan 3 because that's going to be our next step. And we'll be able to take out Boo. Deborah. Deborah is a pretty cool villain. He's also a very dead villain. <laughs> He's also a very dead villain. This spear is useless to me for the most part. So we're not even going to bother. We just took out Fat Majin Boo like it was nothing. And now this is to go even further beyond. Uh oh, okay. That's it. I don't like the face from the texture pack. It just looks kind of odd. But we're not going to question it too much. Let's just go ahead and do this because we're constantly on a timer. Super Saiyan 3 drains the energy really quickly. Let's actually look at it right now. Oh, yeah. It's taking like 10% every couple seconds. That's not great. We want to try and kill Boo as fast as we can. It's going to hit a Sinsu Bean. I got to keep that under control because if not. I'm going to end up running out. And that would not be good. But as long as we have energy, we're chilling. These guys stand no chance. Okay, we got Super Majin Buu Piccolo. We're going to get all the way through the Buu Saga, and then we'll maybe we'll be able to do the God Saga. 
No sweat. Super Majin Buu Ultimate. You know, I kind of wonder, would Bardock stick with like a Super Saiyan 4 transformation or would he go up to the God forms? That is a really good question because, I don't know, he is more of like a, a traditional Saiyan. I feel like it would make more sense if he used like uh, Super Saiyan 4, for instance. It just seems like it would make more sense to me. So maybe that's what we'll do. We might stick up uh, with just Super Saiyan 4, but maybe go Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4. I just feel like it might make more sense with this character. I don't know, you guys tell me what you think, but I think that's the way I'm gonna go. I could get Ultra Instinct and stuff, but I don't know if that's like Bardock's way, you know? He's not like Goku. Not completely like Goku, at least. They're, they got some similarities, but I feel like that he would probably go more down the Super Saiyan 4 route. Since Super Saiyan God. Now, I will have to unlock it, though, just to go ahead and move forward. I don't think I have enough to do it right now. I'm probably about to have to train again, which... I mean, that's not too bad because it looks like I'm actually starting to struggle again. So maybe I should go train some more. Kami! The god form. Ooh, 10,000 mind! Are you insane? Fine. All right, so what this means is I'm at 4,000 mind right now. I'm going to be at like 14,000 mind by the time you guys see me next. Actually, I'll probably go ahead and get up like 20,000 mind because look at this. I need 5,000 mind to get the next form. Then I got to get the god form. I'm not even at Super Saiyan 4 yet. I'm not even going to be using the God form, but I have to get it for the story, which is kind of annoying. <sighs> at least it shouldn't be too bad. It's only going to take me maybe 30 minutes to an hour to get that much mind. Hopefully, I just need to train like super hard. Okay, guys. So I think I should I have enough. I went ahead and unlocked Super Saiyan 4, so that's done. And now I'm going to come over here and unlock the God form. Now, obviously, there's God Destruction. There's Ultra Instinct. Now, I do think I could go the God Destruction route. That might be something I do after Super Saiyan 4 because I could definitely see Bardock trying to become a destroyer. I don't know. It, it seems like something he would be willing to do. Uh, however, now that I've got Super Saiyan God and I got Super Saiyan 4, there is another step that I could go to, right? So this is the JDE mod where they add in different forms. And I believe I can buy Limit Breaker here. Maybe not. Do they not have it? Oh, maybe they don't have it. I thought there was a... I swear I thought there was a Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4. I guess there isn't, but that's fine. Because what we'll do is we'll go Super Saiyan 4, and then when we need to go a step higher, we'll go to the God Destruction form, which is only available for neutral people anyways. And Bardock just so happens to be a pretty neutral character, I'd say. Also, we have all these stats, so I guess we'll go ahead and put some of these stats in. And that's really going to help us get where we need to go. So... I'm nervous, though. Every time I click, you're seeing, like, tons of TP go by. I better make sure my strength is top-notch. Better make sure my constitution, spirit could probably be a little higher. And now I got about 7 million left. What do I want to put that in? I'm going to put it in the constitution just so I have more HP. I think we'll be able to breeze through all of the God Saga and maybe even go up to, like, the Terminal Power area with this level of power. I'm just, I'm making an assumption here. Plus, I got Sensu Beans for days so I think we have no problem. So now I have to ascend to Super Saiyan God, I believe. I don't even have Super Saiyan 4 unlocked right now, so that's something I'm going to have to do. <laughs> okay, we're getting really powerful. This, like, triples our stats easily. Don't get me wrong, Super Saiyan God is really cool. I just don't feel like it's something that Bardock... Bardock's not really a pure hearted Saiyan either. I don't think it makes much sense. I, I would not go as... I mean, he could probably become one if he lived long enough. But just judging off of what he was... I don't know. Little little complicated there. I guess technically he's pure-hearted. Maybe by the end. But I'm going to go ahead and say he's just neutral. We're going the neutral route here. Oh my goodness. Look at all these guys. It's lagging my game. There's so many. Why is there so many? I don't remember there being this many. Holy... Dude... It's a lot. Like, honestly, it's lagging my game there so many. And I don't one-shot them because my dexterity isn't high enough. Like, my action time, it's just not enough. Look at how many there is. Okay, let me just recharge my action time real quick. Stop turboing for one. There we go. My action time is my biggest weakness right now. Because you see what I'm doing one damage? It's because my action time is It means I probably need more dexterity. Or is it constitution? Oh, I need more constitution. That's what it is. 
I have got to get more constitution. For it to be this low, it's crazy. It's like if I'm not fighting just one or two people, I'm struggling. Because I can't do my full amount of damage. I one-shot these guys, but I gotta have more constitution. This is sad. This is very sad. But at the very least, these one... These, like, people that are just, like, one... Pro oh my god, why is there so many bear thieves? Why is there so many bear thieves? I've never seen that many. Jeez, okay, Tagoma. We should be able to easily like, sell all this stuff. The only problem is if there's, like, a whole group of enemies, that's where we kind of struggle because we don't have enough constitution. I think we got a pretty good amount of constitution, but I guess we need even more if we want proper action time. So I need to invest more into that. And now we have Frieza. Of course. Frieza, get out of here. We've already taken out beers. I mean, now we got to go to Super Saiyan Blue. Oh, God. Oh, my God. No. I got to go train again. I, okay, I'll be honest. It didn't take as long as I thought it was going to take. But it's still taking a while. I mean, look at my mind right now. With this level of mind, you get so much TP. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'm, I'm going to come back right to the Sunflower Plains. Uh, not Sunflower Plains, but the Plains Waypoint, and then we'll continue. Okay, so I've done my training. I waited till nighttime, and now we're going to look up at the moon, turn into a great ape, and start unlocking Super Saiyan 4. Because that is... It, excuse me? Let's try that again. Uh, I, I don't... Why does it keep cutting off? All right, can, can you please transform? That's what I thought. All right, now we're a great ape, and we're going to go to Super Saiyan, right? And since we have Super Saiyan 4 unlocked, we should be able to go straight to Super Saiyan 4 after this if we keep charging. And ta-da, we have Super Saiyan 4 Bardock. Now, if we wait till the daytime or just sleep, we'll be good enough to just go ahead and breeze through pretty much everything. Now, another good thing is once you transform into Super Saiyan 4 once... You can just select it here pretty easily. Because I'm going to have to go to Super Saiyan Blue to continue the story. But then I can switch right back to Super Saiyan 4, even though it's weaker. I just feel like we're going to go with that canonical approach. It just makes more sense. Our power level is ridiculous right now. But now that we're Super Saiyan Blue... Wait, did I go to Super Saiyan Blue Evolution? I did. That was not the goal. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. We're still stupid powerful, but it's fine. It's fine. So now we can take down Golden Frieza. Um, goodbye, Frieza. I'll be, I'll be honest, though. I didn't one-shot him. A little bit surprised. If I use Super Saiyan 4, it's going to be even more of a challenge than if I'm using these god forms. Batamo, one-shot for myself. Frost, guess what, Frost? You're also about to get bodied. You know what? Most of this is going to be boring, so I'm just going to skip to the point of where... All right, all right. Here's what I'm going to do, right? I do this almost every video. So here, here's the gist, right? I'm going to get through all these very boring sagas, and especially the super long Future Trunks saga. Then I'm going to go train. I'm going to get us to the point where we can go through the Tournament of Power. And I'm going to meet you guys at the Tournament of Power. Uh, I'm going to also try and get God of Destruction by the time we get to the Broly Saga. Probably not for the Tournament of Power, but after the Tournament of Power. So that's the plan. So I need to go train one more time. Maybe, maybe two. But it'll be totally worth it because I'll be able to do so much more once I do this training session. Also, I got to do the story more off cam. So I'll get to you guys whenever it gets interesting. Did I just get killed by a zombie almost? That is just sad. All right. Well, time to Okay, guys. So we're ready for the Tournament of Power. And I have a billion stats saved up that we're going to be able to put into ourselves. And I've already put in some stats. So you can see that I've gotten quite a bit stronger. But it's still lacking. I mean, look how low that dexterity is. That's kind of sad. How about we go ahead and just bump that up? Oh my god, look how fast it just went. Now, there's one thing I do want to do before all else. And that's going to be... Let's go ahead and get God of Destruction. So now I can use the God of Destruction form if I absolutely need. It's probably going to be used for the Broly Saga more than it is anything else. But it's fine. Now we have dexterity. We're going to go and bump up our spirit a bit. I said we put the rest... I said I was going to do key. I said I was going to do key. In this entire video, I haven't done key moves. I'm so annoyed at myself, dude. You know, honestly... You know what? Before the final fight, whenever we do Broly, I'm going to do use nothing but key moves. That's going to be my thing. I'm literally going to try and one-shot him with key moves. But for the Tournament of Power, we'll stick with, we'll stick with melee. But I swear, we're going to do one more training session after the Tournament of Power. And that is when I am going to use key moves. I'm going to just make up some key moves. And we're going to see what we can do. 
because I always want to do key moves. I just never get around to it because I'm lazy and it's way easier to just punch things to death. <laughs> I will say the key blast in this are kind of glitchy because sometimes you'll charge it up and then like you'll try and release it and it just disappears. Very annoying. Here's the catch to what we gotta do now. We're gonna be using Super Saiyan 4 instead of Super Saiyan Blue or anything else. So we're definitely gonna be a bit weaker than we normally would. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get my energy up because we're about to have to fight a lot. It's a bit of a waste of meat, but at least my energy is high now, and I don't got to worry about it just running out completely. I also maxed out some of these other things, so... Ooh, ooh, okay, we one-shot him. Nah, we one-shot them. Maybe I'm a little too strong now. Maybe I won't even need the other forms. I made sure to increase my stats more because without having, like, Super Saiyan Blue or Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, I'm at a disadvantage. I also don't have Kaioken, so it's like, using just Super Saiyan 4, you're gonna need to be stronger in your base. That way, Super Saiyan 4 can actually be enough. Because if not, I'm gonna get totally folded by, uh, like, Jiren when it comes time for Jiren. But, seeing as I'm one-shotting all these guys, I don't think I'm gonna have much of a problem. I actually think we might be totally set. I mean, look, Topo's gone now. It's just too easy. And now Jiren, first battle, boom, gone. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe how fast we're killing these guys. Okay, to be fair, my stats are really high. But if I go to God Destruction, it's going to make me literally one-shot anything in my path. Like, I'm kind of scared. If I'm already this strong with Super Saiyan 4, just imagine how strong I'm going to be. No, my energy! That's what I was worried about earlier. Okay, well now I have to charge all the way back up. I'm a little curious of like gob destruction okay sue me i don't care i want to see what it actually can do for us because if we're that strong with super saiyan 4 i wonder if we can genuinely one shot unleash jiren with gob destruction form because the super saiyan 4 would probably take us about two or three hits but with god of destruction what will happen then let's find out i guess it should work because we're neutral it did now it messes up the face i don't like that but now our stats Oh my goodness, I have usually 10,000 strength, it's 40,000 now. Can we one-shot Jiren? No! Dang it, I wanted to one-shot Jiren. <sighs> I mean, we easily killed him. He couldn't even land, like, much damage on us at all. But, like, man, I wanted to one-shot him. Oh well. At least with God Destruction, it basically makes us just him. Nothing can stop us. And now, uh, we have defeated the entire Dragon Block C saga. The only thing left is Broly. But like I said, I want to do that with just key moves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go train one more time, max out all of my stats as much as I can, and then try and create some key moves. We already got God Destruction. We're already about as strong as we can get. We just need to train a little bit more. We don't even really need to max all of our stats. I really just want to be able to get uh, better key moves. I want to make sure I can get my willpower to like 10,000 or so, and then we are set. We're ready to go. I'm going to make some moves here, and then we can begin. So I'll be back soon, and we're going to use some of Bardock's move. Okay, we're ready. I put in all my stats into willpower. My other stats aren't exactly maxed out, but it's fine. We don't need to. All we need to do is make sure our key attack can actually harm this guy. Is my, my God Obstruction's turned off. That's wild. Okay, let me turn that off. God Obstruction's on. We're at 100% power. And now after this, I have one move that I've created. It's the only key move that really matters for Bardock that's his own original move. I mean, he uses the Kamehameha for some reason in some instances. Even though I don't understand how he would know that, he, he does. Uh, but we're going to be using something called the Final Spirit Cannon. Now from what I understand, it should do a pretty good amount of damage. Oh yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all, I gotta admit. It could be better. You know, it could charge up a little faster. Hopefully we can hit Broly with it. We'll just have to see. Now, we're gonna have Vegeta right here. So how about we just try it on on Mr. Vegeta here. Vegeta! It just disappears. That's why key moves are just kind of eh in this. Now, if I was to move around, maybe it would work a little bit better. But uh, I'm gonna need to change my key for that. Okay, now we gotta fight Goku. Let's try that again. He's not even aware that we're here right now. He's totally spacing out. So, we're just going to charge this up. It's not as much as I would like, to be honest. Only about 300,000 damage. But it nearly one-shot Goku. It nearly did. I won't lie. It has its uses, I suppose. Sometimes key moves can be useful. Especially if they don't notice you for a minute. You can charge it up and do a lot of damage. 
He once again has not noticed me. Once again, Broly has not noticed me at all. Uh, yet at least. There's a Dragon Ball by him. Broly, how about you eat this giant final spirit cannon? Did my energy just go out again? You gotta be kidding me. Sensu Bean! Oh my gosh, man. When my energy goes out, it goes out so fast right now. Oh, I guess my spirit isn't that high, is it? Yeah, that would explain it. So I have a key problem here. I clearly do not have enough energy here. Not, not enough total. We'll use 75% of our power from now on. Screw the key moves. They're good. But it won't be enough to save us. We're going to have to do this with our hands. And you know what? It's not too bad either. We'll go up to 80%. We'll slowly go higher and higher as Broly seems to go higher. Now we gotta fight the buff version of Broly. Oh my goodness, he takes some hits. Jeez. Like, I'm. It's kind of sad because I'm actually weaker than I normally am in my videos. But to be fair, I haven't maxed out all my stats. I just wanted to see what it would be like. It's a bit more epic, I suppose. Since we're being. We gotta go to 100% power. If we don't, we stand no chance against him. He literally... <gasps> no wonder. I just beat him. I just beat him. No wonder that one was so hard. I was like, dude, he is so hard. I didn't realize that's the last one. It took everything we had, though. I won't even lie. Like, if we was any weaker, I wouldn't be able to do the Broly Saga. Like, it was actually pretty close. I used up all my Sensu Beans. I mean, I could have used my meat, but at this point, it's not that useful. Is that a flying Nimbus? Excuse me? Ex huh? No, 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 no. We're not brushing that aside. Why was there a flying Nimbus? Something's going on with my Minecraft worlds, man. I swear, I'm not making this up. That is like the second time something strange has happened in my Dragon Block Sea worlds. See, I had one time where there was a villager with like glasses on which was really weird it's like a witch that had glasses on now i'm seeing a flying nimbus that just randomly is flying in the sky how does that happen there's no character that does that only i could do that i don't understand maybe it's a previous render of me flying the nimbus way early on in this video and like maybe somehow i just glitched that into the game i don't understand just a random nimbus flying for no reason like there's a trail behind it and everything let me know if you can figure out what that is guys like what what's the reason for that uh, some kind of mystery starting here i don't know but kind of weird don't know what that's about well guys i guess we've spent a hundred days as bardock and let me know what you want to see me do next in dragon block c i don't think there's a whole lot more dragon block c videos left for me to do other than maybe a couple of niche topics so don't expect too much more dragon block c in the like the soon to be future it'll probably be at least another week or two before i ever upload another dragon block c video at least a couple weeks i'm gonna be putting up a lot of other content but I'm gonna be real, I got like 30 Dragon Block C videos. If you want some, there's plenty out there. Uh, if you can come up with a cool idea, maybe I'll try it. But for the most part, I think I've mastered Dragon Block C. I think it's about time we start to move on and just do other things. You guys seem to really like that anyways. But if you want to see more Dragon Block C, let me know in the comment section below and let me know what you want to see. And let me know what that Nimbus thing was about, if you have any idea. That's it for this video, guys. I love you guys. Thank you for supporting the channel. Like, I really do appreciate it. You know, like, leave a like, comment, do whatever you can to support the channel. Maybe join the Discord. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed this 100 days as Bardock, the first Saiyan.